We're going to do two things during this lecture here. One, we're going to create a brand new blank Excel workbook. This is going to be the main file type that you'll work with as you venture and you work inside of Excel itself. The second thing that we're going to do is take a look at the interface that makes up the working environment that you're going to be all over inside of as you work inside of an Excel workbook. So one, we've got the Excel window open. We just launched Excel. I've got it right here. I'm currently looking at the startup screen. Again, this is the newer edition of Excel, but if you're on an older one, you're going to see some similar stuff here. I'm going to go into blank workbook. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'll click on it once. And this will launch the rest of the Excel interface. And now I've got my Excel file or my Excel workbook open in front of us. Now, let's break down the interface here a little bit. This is the second thing that I want to discuss. Really just get into how the window is laid out, kind of the main areas of the Excel application. And this is something that we're going to get into much, much more in depth as we go through the various features that make up the Excel application. But at this point, just kind of a high level of the interface itself. Now I'm going to remove my face off the screen because I want you to be able to see the incomplete window here because right now my big fat head is kind of blocking a portion of the screen here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that and I'll be back there. All right, so first off, towards the top of the screen, we have, towards the top left corner of our screen, we have what's called the quick access toolbar. Uh, these are some common shortcuts, common commands that you can quickly get access to. So on my version here, I currently have quick access to the save. And I've got a few other buttons here, currently not active for me, but I've got undo, redo, and the auto save feature. If you're using Office 365, you don't just have a standalone edition of Microsoft Excel, you'll see the auto save button there. All right. And now I've also got a touch screen monitor that I could potentially use. So I've got an option here for uh, whether I want to view this as a standard interface or more geared towards a touch screen environment. Uh, I'll just give you a quick preview here. If I give that button a click, currently I'm in mouse mode, but if I go to touch mode, everything just gets a little bit bigger, buttons spread out a little bit, kind of my big fat fingers are, are gonna be able to tap on those buttons. All right, I'll go back to standard mouse mode there. Now you may not have that button, it just depends on if you, it recognizes that you are compatible with some touch screen device. All right, now again, that's your quick access toolbar. We're gonna talk some more about that, but here are just some default buttons, giving you quick, easy access to common commands. Now, right below that, you have what's called the ribbon. Now, if you've been working inside of Microsoft Excel or working inside of other Office applications, you're going to be familiar with the ribbon. This has been around since the 2007 edition of, of the Office applications, not just Excel, but Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, and so on. Now, of course, when you go into different applications, Excel versus Word, you still got the ribbon, but there are different features there, of course, right? You're going to get different commands for the different applications, but the idea is the same. It's your ribbon, it's full of tabs or buttons towards the top. I've got file, home, insert, and so on. Uh, now, if you compare your screen to my screen, you may see some on my screen that you don't have on yours. As an example, I've got the developer tab here. That's one that you actually have to activate yourself. It doesn't come by default. And that's one that we will get into much, much later within the course as we get into macros and VBA or Visual Basic for applications. So just keep in mind uh, that you may see some on my screen that aren't on yours, at least at this point. We will talk about those, uh, as well as Power Pivot, one that you may not see on yours as well. All right, but the ribbon is just full of all the commands. I've got Home, and they've broken up the Home tab into various groups. Got the clipboard for copy paste, got my font commands, alignment, numbers, styles, and so on. If I go to formulas, I've got things like my function library. We're gonna talk all about functions, uh, creating name ranges, getting into auditing your formulas, and so on. So I highly recommend taking a, a quick moment here and digging through the ribbon interface. Now, again, if you're on an earlier version, if you're on 2013, 2010, or if you're on a Mac, uh, the interface is going to be a little bit different. Buttons might look a little bit different. Some of the buttons might be more colorful than others. You know, Microsoft, they make updates to the application pretty regularly. 
uh, and they'd like to change button colors and whatnot on you. So, um, but that's your ribbon there. Okay. Now the next portion right below the ribbon, we have what's called your formula bar. It's actually got two pieces. I have what's called the name box and then the actual formula entry or formula bar right here, this area right here. Now, just as an FYI, I've seen this happen to people before, so I just want to make you aware of it. Sometimes that doesn't show up, or you may accidentally turn it off. Uh, if I go to my View tab, there's a series of check marks, and one of them is called the Formula Bar. So it's your View tab at the top, then I've got the Show section, and I've got Formula Bar. So if I do this, if I go ahead and uncheck Formula Bar, you'll see that that bar goes away. I'll turn it back on. It's a very important formula bar or toolbar for us to use. So I recommend leaving it on, but it does take up a bit of space on your screen. So if you really don't need it, you can turn it off. And also, if I step back for a moment, go back to the uh, ribbon here, uh, something else you can do, if I double click a tab, let's see I'm on the insert tab, and I double click insert, this will minimize the ribbon. Whoop, kind of smashes it up. Uh, again, I like to show that one, because it does take up a lot of space on your screen and maybe you want to get rid of it. Two, it might happen to you by accident. Okay, You just give it a double click again and it'll come back. Okay? So just an FYI, you can turn off and turn on elements of the interface because it is a pretty busy interface here. So let's go ahead and stop right there for a moment. I want you to take a moment, go through the ribbon, get just a little familiar with the various tabs you got there, take a look at the view tab, see how you can turn off the formula bar. Also, give one of the tabs a double click just to minimize that ribbon and then open it right back up by double clicking on it again. Now, there's a few more things I want to take a look at the interface, but I like to keep my videos short and kind of to the point. So let's talk, let's, let's get into that right there. Just get a feel for it. And then let's jump into the next video and we'll break down more of the interface here.